Good morning. I'm leaving for the airport, heading back to LA in a little bit. Today is actually a pretty crazy day on multiple fronts. It is actually the one year anniversary of my very first student loan video. And I actually just watched this video for the first time in a year because I don't really tend to rewatch my videos once I post them. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really interesting. I'm going to share with you how much I have paid off in 365 days as well as how much I still have left to go. But that's gonna be a little later in this video just because there's actually a little bit more, there's more pressing news here this morning before I leave, you know? On Instagram, a couple of my girlfriends and I actually did a thousand dollar giveaway on Instagram. The winner is gonna be announced in a couple hours, but I'm bringing that up because there are, I think, maybe two other opportunities to win money this Christmas. There's definitely gonna be one on the 17th, so that is a $1,000 giveaway. Um, and then there may be one later on this month, if not this month, then definitely next month. So uh, again, go ahead, like my Instagram and stay up to date to those. The restock of Support Your Girls and the relaunch of my new Squarespace website is live. I have been secretly working on relaunching my website for a couple months now. Um, and it looks so, so good. Da, 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 da. Look at how beautiful it is. This is the new Asia Dang. Dot com. And then here's the Women's Worth collection. I actually, after I land <laughs> in LA, have to go pick up the merch. And then it goes live at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I land at 3, got to pick up the merch. So once that launches, once I pick it up, all of these will be added. Um, the last time I restocked, we actually sold out in two hours. As always, 10% will go to PPH. There's this link at the bottom. It's called Beauty and Lifestyle. And I wanted to add this because a lot of you guys are always asking me about a certain products. So this is where you would go to find those products. So obviously the Gua Sha Jade Roller is probably one of my most asked questions as well as the equipment I use. Where I get my lashes done, where I get my facials done, my colors, and my hairstylist. So you guys are always asking me these questions so I decided to throw it on my website so you all can have one easy place to go to and uh, reference back to. I just think it this website really embodies who I am and what I wanna portray to you guys. So I am so, so, so excited to share with you the relaunch of the website. This website is still with Squarespace even though it looks drastically different. It is so crazy the things that you can do on the Squarespace website. They have fantastic customer service. I was able to tell them what exactly I was looking for and they helped put that vision into a reality. And as you can tell by my new website, you can easily reconfigure your theme if you want. Now it's just so clean. And what I really wanted with this new website is something that I didn't have to change ever again, besides maybe updating numbers or updating pictures. But I think this theme is a pretty classic website theme and i'm really happy that we made the switch over if you want to go ahead and try uh building your own website squarespace does have a free trial period which is what i utilized for every time i built my new website just so i can like go back and forth to see what i like for my old website what i want for my new website it was very helpful if i do have to say so myself but also remember i do have a discount code head over to squarespace.com slash asia dang and get 10 percent off your entire order. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this plane back to LA, pick up my merch, adjust the inventory on my website, launch my new merch, spread the word about the restock of the merch on my social media accounts, and then we can talk about my debt-free journey. Okay, a lot to do, but I'll see you soon. Ah! Let's see, let's see, oh! Never mind. Guys, look at this. <laughs> Dang. 
I've only made it live like two seconds ago. Yay, guys, yay! Oh! Get out, get out! This is the slowest zoom ever. Merch is now live. Everything is better. So now let's talk about I like really planned this day completely poorly. Exactly one year ago today, I shared with you that I was $200,000 in student loan debt. Ah! I actually never really told the story, but basically what happened, how I started my journey was that my dog Luke had to go into emergency surgery and was in, in and out of the ER for like <laughs> three days. And I didn't have the money, Brian was gone and I didn't have the money to save him. And we were just waiting to be seen for eight hours. I was at the vet and I saw family after family having to put down their dog or their animal um, because they couldn't afford the care. And that was a huge wake up call for me. You know, I always knew having an animal would be expensive because that's just how it is. But I didn't really understand the reality of it. Um, and what that meant if I didn't have money uh, until that day. So luckily, Brian was able to afford all the care. It came out to about $5,000, but we were able to save his life and that's not something that I would regret ever doing. Um, but after that happened, I vowed to get my shit together and not live pay paycheck to paycheck and not always feel like I'm scrambling for money. So my girlfriend actually told me, uh, she's like, hey, you need to download the Total Money Makeover from Dave Ramsey. I'm like, okay. So I go to download it on my iPad and guess what? I had already downloaded it and already read it. Now Dave says this on his podcast all the time. Um, you, you don't listen until you're ready to listen. I can't even remember when I bought his book um, I would assume after college somehow, but I can't, I don't, do not even remember buying his book. And that was obviously a very clear indication of where my mind was. I was just not ready to be an adult and get my life together. But I had like a life and death situation. And then that's when, you know, the lights turned on. So I reread the book. Um, and the first thing I did was pay off my credit card. That was about maybe 1200. I did it all in one, in one night. I um, was able to drop that. So paid off the card and then I um, had my thousand dollar emergency fund. And then I got starting on my journey, which is where we are uh, now, December, 2017. I talked to you guys about it because I knew I wasn't gonna be the only person with debt. And I definitely knew I wasn't gonna be the only person with student loan debt, but no one talks about it on YouTube because YouTube is a place of fantasy and luxury and wanting to be and portray something more than you are. And that's just never been who I was, or that's just never been a person I am. Um, I mean, hello, look at this. Why am I talking to you looking like a troll? I just don't care, like this is my truth. And I didn't know what to expect when I posted that video. I figured that a lot of people would call me dumb and an idiot and call me names, and they did. But I didn't expect the amount of honesty and support from all of you. And if it wasn't for that support, I probably would have just left that video up and just never spoke about it ever again. But the comments you guys left and the messages of support and honesty is the reason why I continue to talk about money and debt and budgeting and the struggles of that and the accomplishes and the accomplishments of that. If you guys weren't you. If you guys weren't comfortable sharing your journey with me, if you all weren't supportive listeners and viewers, and if you all weren't understanding, then I probably would not have been able to pay off as much as I have to date. Because simply, I don't want to disappoint you. I know a lot of you view me as 
not only like a cheerleader but also someone who you who you look up to in terms of changing your life around you know um so i don't want to disappoint you and while i could spend my money on a whole bunch of other things i i want you guys to be happy and proud of me so i choose to dump as much money as i can towards my debt so i did a breakdown month by month debt by debt of what I did. I'll write down the breakdowns of my debt in the description box just so you guys can see. But essentially, here it is. So I started my journey December 2017. I was able to pay off my car by February 2018. I was able to pay off my 8ES success in August of 2018 and I still have a long way to go so far to date December 2018 December 14th 2018 365 days since I started my debt-free journey I have paid off $78,517.99 Woo! My automatic payment for common bonds coming on the 22nd so by uh, the new year I would have paid off $80,000 in debt I know a lot of you feel like my journey is unrealistic because I do make um, a lot of money but I have to tell you that this is new when you look at these numbers and when you look at my budget <laughs> this all happened this year if I started my debt-free journey last year, it would have been a completely different story. I was trying to sell stuff anywhere I could just to pay for my rent. So this year is a new year. I've never made this much money before in my life. So I understand that not everything that I talk about or these numbers aren't realistic. However, my journey is still my journey. And I'm not going to dumb down my numbers just to make a few of you more comfortable with with me. I don't take this for granted. I am scared actually every day that I'm going to wake up and it will all be gone that this month was or that this year was a fluke and I still have that feeling since there were times many times before this year where I had to sell things just to pay rent or I had to decide whether I was going to or I had to decide whether I was going to default on my loan or pay my rent. So that is a life that I know, but now I know a different life and I'm not going back and that has nothing to do with my income. It is, just has everything to do with finally growing up and accepting or not accepting that I'm in debt. You know, if this year has taught me anything is that you are in control of yourself and your money. I know Dave Ramsey always says budget, budget, budget. But honestly, you really cannot make a dent, especially if you have the amount of loans I have, if you don't make more money, okay? So of course, budgeting is important, but you need to make more money, you have to. And I had a couple side hustles earlier in my journey when I started, but I've had to put those aside because I was getting way too busy doing, you know, YouTube and Instagram, but I did an entire video about my side hustles and I'll link that in the cards above so you can watch that. $80,000 in debt people, I paid off. And I still have $120,000 left. Oh, it's never ending. It's like, yes, I paid $80,000 towards my debt. And then it's like, no, I still have $120,000 left. It's the never ending feeling of being unsatisfied with what you do that's the thing people don't tell tell you about your debt-free journey is that you'll never be satisfied until the day that you're completely paid off and the mini debts are wins but i mean you saw in the vlog that i paid off my uh eight years success i didn't feel excited because now it was just that time to step into the bigger loan so I don't know man it's I think you guys for not only watching my videos and putting me in a financial position to dump all this money at my loans but also inspire me and 
um, encouraging me to do this. Because there are times where I just want to spend $8,000 on a trip and just leave you guys and never come back and run away from my loans. But instead of that, I'm putting it towards my debt because, you know, I want you all to be proud of me. And I want to do a debt-free screen with Dave Ramsey, my God. Anyways, just wanted to update you and uh, just say that anything is really possible. You know, I never in my wildest dreams thought that I'd make this type of money, but I swear to God, the moment I m verbalized that I was in debt and I wanted to change my life, the universe heard me and gave me the opportunity to change my life. That may so sound kind of hokey to some of you, but the universe is something I truly believe in. And I believe that if you want something, just put it out there in the universe and the universe will find a way to give it to you. Tomorrow to celebrate my journey, I'm going to the Korean spa, getting a body scrub and a massage that will all be probably under $150 because it's a Korean spa. Um, and I'm not gonna vlog anything. I'm gonna take a day off and not do anything. So I'll see you on Monday. If you're on your debt-free journey, how much have you paid off in a year's time? And I'm asking this question not as a competition, but I want you guys to read the comments and feel inspired. Okay, feel inspired. You don't need to explain to us anything. Just tell us the numbers and be proud of those numbers, okay? Be proud of what you have accomplished in a year. All right, guys, we're doing it. We are doing it, all right? And I know a lot of you have messaged me about becoming debt-free and I want to congratulate each and every one of you. You are all an inspiration to everyone on this channel and we will all be there in time. All right. I'm Asia Dang. I'll see you guys next time or I'll see you on Monday. Bye.